Uh, when we first came here, we were here as part of a strategic planning process that was rethinking what was possible to do for education at Temple Emmanuel. Rethinking youth programs, rethinking family programs, family worship, and so there was a lot to do. And the families from day one were, have been so warm and welcoming and so um, ready to work with us and excited about what we're doing. It's amazing to be in an institution that is, is a, a house, not only a house of prayer and a house of community, but also a house filled with opportunities for learning. In, on every floor, there's something for us to, to show the students in the religious school, something for us as parents to get excited about. So one of our goals here at the religious school is really to make Judaism relevant for our students. Uh, they can do a lot of things here in New York. Their lives are very full, but while they're at Emmanuel, the reason why they're here is to get Jewish education. I think that our religious school has to be a laboratory for how do we treat one another better. We've brought in drama, we've brought in media, we've brought in technology, and we're going to keep experimenting and pushing the envelope on how do we make learning engaging and study meaningful. Which particular areas are we going to try and work on towards creating a more equitable society, that's where we turn to the students themselves. And that's where we say, what is it going to be that's going to drive your passion? What's going to make you say, I'm ready to act on this? I always tell people, and you walk down the hall during religious school hours and you look into the classrooms, the kids are smiling. You go down to dismissal at the end of the day at 12 o'clock on Sundays or 6 o'clock on Monday, and the kids are happy. They're running to their parents to show them what they did or tell them what they've done. The, the and, parents are like looking at their watches. Yeah. They're like, where's my kid? It's like, oh, they're still in class. Like, we can't we get them out of class. Extra minutes. I think here we've demonstrated that you can have a religious school where you can learn a lot and you can have a lot of fun every single week and those two aren't mutually exclusive.